Up, I caught the first electric train which started at Gawler Central Station. I was there at 6.25 with hundreds of other people. And during that day, I think thousands of people came out to see the new electric trains. So I then had to come into the city for the official opening. Uh, oh, okay. uh, official opening. And also, Mr Speaker, I had to uh, obviously go back to Gawler again on the trains. It was great. It, I did, very quickly, in a few minutes, I got left, Mr, Mr. Spe Acting Speaker. I think this, the next thing we need to talk about is jobs. Jobs are so important, critical. Mm. Uh, and our leader has, on a number of occasions, talked about the importance of jobs and the dignity that work provides to people's lives. And so, and it wouldn't be a Labor government which actually didn't put jobs as one of its key priorities. The $593 million hydrogen jobs plan, uh, good for the environment, good for industry, uh, so we, and, and also good for jobs. Uh, Mr Speaker, that we, there's a whole range of other, pro, other programs in terms of arts, music, the fringe, live music, housing, another important area. We are investing $177.5 million over the next four years to build new homes and also to refurbish existing housing, housing stock to make sure that people can get a roof over their, home, over their head. We have an $18.6 billion infrastructure program. Of that, $7.83 billion will go into roads, which are important. Those things not only, it's not only building important infrastructure, but also creating jobs. At the local level, Mr Speaker, I'll close off, I'm very pleased to say that every commitment I have made to, the, to the, my community will be honoured in this budget. Every promise made by, on my, uh, I made on behalf of the, of the Labor Party, now the Labor government, will be honoured in this budget. And there will be uh, $60,000 for disability infrastructure at the playground at Apex Park, $100,000 for improvements to playgrounds at Backton Street, Evanston and Gawler West, $2.5 million to improve parking and kiss and drop-off zone near Mark Island College to reduce, um, to reduce congestion and to improve road safety, $30,000 for Schaefer Playground at Nolan Reserve Manapara to provide a safer playing area. $380,000 for pedestrian crossing Red Banks and Wayland Road to improve, to improve safety of the students from Xavier College uh, who walk. Uh, important, very important project. Uh, $600,000 for, for a new playground at Reed, one of the, one of my, the suburbs of Gawler, very important as well, which has poor infrastructure. $530,000 to upgrade the Tamlin Station car park to Kiss and Drops, I've seen, which at the moment is just, a, it's just dirt. We get a, actually get a proper area which people can actually promote public transport, which is very important. $250,000 for Veterans Shed, Veterans Garage in, in Williston, next, next door, to be co located with Willows Men's Shed. $4.8 million for netball courts for the young women, the girls and young women in Gawler who actually uh, were, um, who play netball. And there's over 15, 16 clubs who play in this association. And it's a very important investment there. A million dollars for the for the um, the, Gawler, the Gawler Soccer Club for a synthetic um, synthetic pitch. And Mr. S Mr. Speaker, yes, we will be undertaking a feasibility study to see whether Barossa Tourism Train can be a viable option for the future with private investment. And we're also undertaking uh, traffic management studies, east-west studies for Curtis and Dalkeith roads to improve traffic management in those areas. Uh, in my electorate, Mr. Mr. Speaker, but that, it doesn't stop there. There is more. There is two, there's over two million dollars for new SES station in uh, in Gawler to, to, for community safety. Something which the Liberals talked about. We actually are going to do it. We are actually going to deliver on that. And that, uh, Mr. Speaker, one thing about this budget is that what we promised is what we're going to deliver, and that's why we got elected.